Wow, it's live now. The world is changing, and so does change. But the mind has the potential to capture the changing world and make every change count. At Skills Mindset, the leading global skills, strategy and corporate development company, we believe that the mind has the potential of transforming the man from obscurity to prominence. It's the reason why we make skills our business. At Skills Mindset, we stand for change, for development and for success. We challenge, we inspire and we lead. With Skills Mindset, your limit is just the beginning. Welcome to Skills Mindset. For more information about the great service we provide, please visit our website on www.skillsmindset.com or give us a call on our UK number on 07957 676 193. Better still, send us an email on info at skillsmindset.com. Skills Mindset. Challenging limits maximizing opportunities. <laughs> We're excited to have you join us on this live session of this exclusive and transformative experience at the Skills Mindset Masterclass hosted by Skills Mindset. We are looking forward to embarking on this journey together as we continue to explore and unlock the power by results of great experts and experience that far improving and exploring new opportunities opens to all, to all in this um, in skills development, executive presence, business progression, professional development, and leadership. Today, we will be at a very interesting and engaging topic self image branding and leadership and one of the known professionals in this field is here present to lead us in this space as we as you take your place he is no other person than my friend dr ino praise he is a customer experience strategist well known for that matter, an image consultant, a life strategist coach, and an executive presence strategist. Is the executive director <laughs> at 
Leaders Without Borders Development Center. And I'm your host, Bengalawa. Dr. Eno Prince, you are welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Lawa. It's an honor to be here. I hope you can hear me. Yes. Good. Great, 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 great. Wherever you're watching from around the world, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I mean, it's an opportunity to be here. And like I would always say, it is a great day. It's a great day to be here. It's a great day to be meeting you wherever you are watching in from around the world. Let us know um, if you're watching from the UK, from, from the US, from Dubai, from Nigeria. Let us know where you're watching from. All right, it, it would help us a lot. Thank you so much, Dr. Lawal. I uh, can't hear you. Hi, Akin. Akin Allen, welcome, Akin. Akin is watching us from Facebook. Good to have you here, Akin. Uh, Dr. Lawal, I think your, your audio is out. I cannot hear you. Still can't hear you. Can you hear me? Okay, and, and your audio is out. So why Dr. Lawal is trying to fix this up, uh, wherever you're watching from, let us know. Um, you can comment, you can comment, let us know what platform also you are watching from. I think you need to unmute yourself. Okay, yes, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. Great, great. Thank you, Alan. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you, Akin. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, um, yes. Welcome, everyone. Sorry about that. Well, it's it's part. That's the reason why we're here. So we have uh, people joining us from um, some co joining us now. Uh, we have Akin Alan. That's a friend. That's a friend in the is just joined. We have Monday, Monday now. You are welcome joining all the way from the kingdom, this city, and of course, the country in which you are joining from, and we will recognize you. Thank you so much for that. Um, although, while we are doing that, uh, you know, I will also get um, our guest speaker to be ready, as um, we have got a lot to talk about today. And people are really eager and willing to, to, to share, you know, to learn and to, of course, share from the experience of uh, Dr. Enos, the, the, the great strategies in the, in the house today. Um, we know you are busy, Dr. Enos, and I know that um, you are in transit as we speak. <laughs> and, I, and I know <laughs> that um, this is so important to you. And that's why you take the commitment to ensure that this is done. Uh, regardless of your present uh, uh, journey, uh, our situation at, at, the, at the end. But yeah. yes, people are really looking up to today and then they, they cannot wait to hear what they need to, to do to improve, their, to, to improve themselves and of course the product, their productivity. So without further ado, uh, let's dive into the business of the day as you you know, warmly welcome everyone. As I welcome everyone to this, and as we have welcomed you, um, and our first and great presenter on this month monthly uh, skills master master class will be master, will be Dr. Prince, and that will be this is our first edition, and it's going to be a continuous one every month, uh, and that's what we we promise to do. So, Dr. Enno Prince, uh, you you have the floor. Yes, I have another friend joining from 
excess united kingdom uh mr Dari is in the house thank you you're welcome thank you very much i'll meet yourself doctor praise mm -hmm. monday from manchester good to have you dane from excess united kingdom good to have you um she is watching from youtube great wow yeah Great, great, great. Thank you so much, um, Dr. Lawal, for having me today. It is a great day again, like I always say. It's yes, a great yes, day to yes, be yes. here. It's a great day to have you here. So the, the question goes, what is personal branding? What is executive presence? What is image branding? We hear these words over and over and over, and then it juggle our minds, and people want to think, Okay, image branding is about dressing well, it's about looking good. It's just a tiny part of image branding. All right. So I would um, do a little bit of introduction about what I do, and then maybe you can check up the rest um, on Google to find out what I do. So when people ask me, what do you do? It's, it's very simple, straightforward. Um, which is one thing I believe every professional should also have. I would usually say, with a personal approach and personal inspiration, I help business professionals create executive presence, image and style that help them attract opportunities in 90 days or less. I also help corporations succeed via customer experience, image branding, image makeover, and personal mastery. So what I do in, in, in the entirety of my life is wrapped around what I just told you. As it is right now, um, the age where we are in is the age of visibility. It's a visual age. What people see is what connects to them. It's what resonates with them. So, People would always see you and then judge you immediately they see you. That's how I came up with the 9-11 rule. So people have a perception about you. They have 11 perception about you in nine seconds. When they see you, they have 11 perception about you in nine seconds. How does that happen? So it's the subconscious. It's a subconscious thing. So I'll put it this way. There's the pre-conscious, there's the subconscious, and then there's the conscious. The pre-conscious is what determines what comes out of your unconscious. And how you're able to master your pre-conscious will determine what you see in your conscious. Does that make sense? So every time you want to step out, Every time you want to step out, let there always be the pre-conscious mind of what if I meet this person that I've been waiting for all my life? What if I meet that investor? What if, what if I meet that business person? What if I meet Bill Gates at the airport? What if I meet Dan Gute at the airport? What if I meet him at the train station? What if I meet him at the elevator? It's the mindset that should come with it. So that led me, after studying all of this, that led me into studying what, I, what is called the executive presence right now. So executive presence is the, is the art and the art of commanding influence. How do you walk into a room, command the room without saying a word? Influence, charisma, communication, your dressing. So I would say this, your content should always be in sync with the container. Now what's your content, your business, your ideas, your services, what you do, those are your content. And what's the container? You are the container. When people see you, for, when they see you, they come in contact with you, it is you they see first. They don't see your business. They don't see your product. They don't see your services. They don't see what you have to offer. It is you they see first. 
so the image you give them when they see you is the image that remains in their head for a very long time and hey you do not want to give a bad impression at the first time they are seeing you so i'm sure we've always heard this word dress to be addressed it is the way you are dressed that people will address you it is the way you are dressed that people will talk to you now listen to this this is very important you might need to write it down you do not dress like a suspect and expect to be taken as a prospect i'm going to say that again you do not dress like a suspect and expect to be taken as a prospect a prospect is someone that has got vision has got values so you do not dress like a criminal and expect that um your your, your investors your business partners will take you as a prospect it is very important that you understand that you know gone are the days where you say okay it, it doesn't matter whatever i wear i mean um they will still take me no in this age it doesn't it does matter people want to know that you can represent them you can represent their brands you can represent the organizations you can they can do business with you and be sure that i mean they are safe their monies are safe so how do you give them that conviction and that um experience to be able to do business with you the first 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 encounter it's your outward look how do you look how very important there's something you need to also write down very important all right value creates impact impact creates big value contact creates impact impact creates value value generates income contact creates impact impact creates value and value generates income when you come in contact with people what are the conversations you are having what impact are you making in their lives as a professional as a business person as an entrepreneur as a leader as a coach uh, as a teacher as a pastor as 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 um a student as as, as a worker what impact do you leave in people's life let me tell you the truth a whole lot of us we know a whole lot of people but we have so many little impact in the in the lives of the people we know and the people we've come across that's why you're not moving to the next stage because when you create impact in their lives it moves you to the next stage which is value and when you move from that second stage it moves you to this third stage which is income if you're not giving value there's no way income can come does that make sense all right so it is very important that you understand that and as an entrepreneur you do not compete with price you become a commodity in the market when you compete with price the reason most companies and individuals compete with price is because they do not give value so when you do not give value you compete with price you become a commodity in the market but when you deliver value you become a product or a service that is sought after value is the key word for you to build your personal brand for you to build your executive presence value is the key word without value you cannot go beyond that chain so i'll say what i said earlier again contact creates impact impact creates value and value generates income we're good <laughs> all right so I'm, I'm gonna read something i wrote i wrote out here and i said if you don't know who you are the right audience will not follow you if you do not know who you are the right audience would not follow you so the question is who are you who are you where are you going to who are you leading the first thing to do is to know who you are, know the value you bring to the table, know the value you bring to the industry, know the value you bring to the sector that you belong in. When you know who you are, it is easy for people to follow you. 
and then the right audience everybody has a set of followers that are meant to be raised as leaders because for me i understand this leaders are not meant to raise followers leaders are meant to raise leaders until we get that correctly there's still going to be chaos in the society in the government every in, in the organizations because the right thing to do is leaders to raise leaders not to raise followers why am i saying this it is very important that you know that leadership is part of building personal brand if people cannot listen to you and then follow you then you don't have a personal brand yeah, that's true so if people cannot emulate you by doing what you um say rather than doing what you do then there's a problem there's a problem the best form of leadership which is also connected to personal branding and executive presence is is what i call the demonstrated leadership where you don't have to tell people what to do just by looking at you they know what to do because you say something and you do it which is the demonstrated leadership so you set up a meeting for 9 p.m and you show up at 8 30 p.m and then people see that you do that consistently that you arrive at your meetings 30 minutes before the meetings hey trust me everybody will want to follow that because the first thing that comes to their mind is visual what they have seen what you see you cannot unsee they see that you come 30 minutes early for your meetings that is what they will emulate so if you want them to come early you come early if you want them to dress well you dress well if you want them to smell well you smell well if you want them to be articulate you must be articulate demonstrated leadership is what is needed in this era to be able to pull people to follow you and then grow under you to be able to take up roles and responsibilities so personal brand is not just about you it's about the people you're building an image that you want people to see and emulate and also duplicate in their lives so if you're not doing that then sorry you don't have a brand to be emulated yes people might emulate you in the negative way but hey that's not what you want to hear and like i would always say if you do not build your brand someone is going to build the brand for you they're going to say negative negative things about you and you you might not know it and you might not like it so build your brand okay. consciously for you to be able to know that people are emulating you and then people are watching what you're doing am i making sense here yes you did Quite great right. great all right so the, the other thing i wanted to uh, point out here is um you might define your brand by words but you you build your brand by actions it is easy to say yeah i have a personal brand i do this and do that but the way to build that brand is via actions what actions are you putting into building the brand how are you building your communication skills your your image your visual image how are you building that um your your presence online on the social media how are you building that those are the actions you need to take what kind of photograph do you put up what kind of quotes what kind of messages do you put out on your socials that goes a long way in in determining the kind of brand you're building so you build, you might you might define your brand by words but you build them by actions look at the achievable actions you need to be able to build your brand for me it's very important i talk about brands every time executive presence branding customer experience team building leadership that's what i look at for and every time i talk i talk about i talk in this space business art development um some partnerships you know international business summit that's what i look at so it's very important that you understand this you don't build those brands by just saying words no you build them by actions taking actions looking at the actions that determine the kind of brand you need i mean what kind of brand do you want out there what kind of brand do you want out there you need, you need people to be able to understand what you're doing and what you're selling everybody's selling something anyway 
you are selling something either good or bad you're selling something so determine what you, what people see you sell all right determine what people see you sell okay and then the other thing i want to say is um personal brand is advertising we've always heard the word advertising right what's advertising showcasing of products services isn't it but hey personal brand is you you advertising it is you advertising yourself it is you advertising yourself it is you putting out yourself on the billboard so whatever you do make sure that the image you're putting out is what people want to buy very important so i, I usually give this illustration you, you 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 went jogging in the morning and then on your way back you stop by by a mall or a uh, or supermarket to get a bottle of water and then you walk to the refrigerator to get the bottle of water and then you discover that the bottle is so dirty that's the only bottle in there the bottle is so dirty but the water the content is clean the question is will you go ahead excuse me will you go ahead to drink that water will you you have a dirty container but the content is very clean will you go ahead to drink the water the answer would definitely be no for some people and a lot of people will say no why and they will usually say because the bottle is dirty i mean you don't know if the content is clean even though it looks clean right all right um Dim said no that she won't go ahead to drink the water you see so it is the same thing that applies to your life as a business person when people see you they know that the content is clean what they see is scruffy and dirty container it puts them off they walk away despite knowing that the content is clean so you need to change that narrative and make sure there is a sync between the container and the content very important so how do you do that if you do not that's the only way you can advertise yourself and get the clients coming in get the businesses coming in get the investors coming in get the partners coming in you advertising like i was saying the other day when we had a test run i said if you are not visible nobody knows what you're doing personal brand is about visibility who is seeing you who is hearing you if you're not heard you're out of business if you're not seen you're out of business so personal branding image branding it's all about visibility all about visibility so value multiplied by visibility times so value multiplied by visibility plus skills multiplied by visibility plus talent multiplied by visibility that gives you your personal brand so you need to multiply everything you have by visibility to be able to build that desired brand that you need if people are not seeing you you're not doing anything if they're not hearing you you're not doing anything so it is very important that you do that and then the other thing yeah i already talked about not, not being a, com a, com a commodity in the market but be a person that delivers value be a person that delivers value don't be a person that uh that competes with price be a person of value value is what will drag the people to you where there is value the income goes to where there is value money goes to so wherever you do whatever field whatever sector that you're in 
you need to be able to communicate that value. So personal branding is not just about um, image. It's also about communicating the value, the value that you bring. There are a lot of people that have got value and ideas, but they, could, they don't know how to communicate it. So you also need to learn the art of communication, which is very important, which is the art of public speaking. Because if you do not say the things you do in a way that a five-year-old would understand, then you have a long way to go. So personal brand is also about simplicity. How simple can your words be? How simple can your vision be? How can they be easily understood? Very important. Very important. So, build your life. Build your brand. Look at the little actions that you need to be able to help you understand the kind of brand you want to build. For me, I mean, people call me the fashion uh, enthusiast. Yes, yes, I, I love fashion so much because, um, watch this, you need to be able to dress so well, walk into a room, command the room without saying a word, and let people begin to ask themselves, who is this guy? Who is this guy? That, that's, that's an ebook I I just finished, and the title of the ebook is "Dress as if you're famous." Dress as if you're famous. It doesn't cost a thing. Because truth be told, the people at the higher echelon would always do big business with people that they believe dress like them, think like them, operate like them, smell like them, look like them. So if you look like them, there's a tendency that they will walk up to you and want to do business with you. That's why your content has to be rock solid. It has to be rock solid. When you're going out to meet these people. I believe with these few words, I've been able to convince you, <laughs> not confuse you, <laughs> on why you need to build your personal brand because it's very important that you do this very important extremely important because the next the next um phase of um the social media is going to be about the, your image your brand people are looking out for who they can resonate with so for instance um i'm sure you all know today you need to be able to look like him to be able to attract him Think like him. Have content that you can give out. Read. Study. Know. My mentor used to tell me something um, a couple of years ago. He would always say, know one thing about everything and know everything about one thing. So know a bit of sport, know a bit of military, um, know a, a bit of science, know a, a bit of medicine, know a bit of, um, of geography, know a bit of fashion, know a bit about sport, know a, a bit about law, you know, know a bit about everything, but be a specialist in one thing. So that whenever you walk into a room, you are able to also contribute to whatever discussion is coming up. That is also building personal brand. People be begin to see you as an expert in different fields, just because you're able to contribute to some things they said. And your grooming is very important. Your grooming is extremely important. How well shaped are you? How, how are your, you know, your pedicure, your, your manicure, your, your hair, uh, you know. And, and then for the ladies, be, understand your body shape. I mean, this is for the guys and the ladies also. Understand your body shape and understand what fits your body shape. Very important. It's also about personal branding. Because you don't want to wear something that is too tight for your body and then it's exposing uh, parts of your body that are not meant to be exposed. That could just be a disadvantage for you. So know your body type and know what fits your body type. Know what color fits you. It's not every color you wear. Know what, what color fits you. And then um, th 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 there isn't much time I would have gone into speaking about color psychology 
and what color says and all of that for me i mean for the past uh for the past four years black has been my predominant color so if you if you look into my wardrobe you have 99 points yeah, let me say 99 percent black in my wardrobe because black is powerful black is authoritative black is commanding he exudes power all right so when you get to understand colors what they say and then you understand the color that works for you you will understand what to wear and what color to wear per time mm. very important now let's look at this for those of you that can go back you can go back to it and check um during obama's first um yeah, if he first get in office during his election, the campaigns, he wore red ties all through. All through the campaigns, he wore red ties all through. That was the statement he was making. And then in his second tenure, he wore blue ties all through the all through the campaigns. Colors speak. Understand the color that works for you. Stick to it. And make sure it speaks. Like they will always say, action speaks louder than words. Mm -hmm. Colors speak. How you walk, how you get into a place speaks. How you dress speaks. What you wear speaks. Everything about you speaks. So understand what works for you, stick to it, grow it, and let it become a part of your life. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> wow, thank you so much, Doctor. You know for that, and I believe, um, um, you know, I know you've got a lot to 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 say in terms of that. Um, if people will have questions. Uh, please, if you can just um, you know uh, put in your question in the comment section, uh, that would be greatly appreciated because. Um, we would have loved to, or we would love to, you know, read your questions. And then, of course, Dr. Praise is here to answer your questions. So, th thank you for doing that. So, please do send in your questions or your remarks, you know, or your contribution into the comment section uh, while the Praise is prepared to to answer uh, to attempt to answer your questions. But Next thing I'd like to just um, want him to put uh, some flesh to uh, in the context of his discussion. And that is uh, linking, I know he mentioned that, but I want him to quickly, you know, uh, intentionally link um, personal branding or self-image to, to leadership. I know you, you, you touch on it, but I think it's very crucial at this point that in 2024 and moving forward, um, a lot of people need to understand what, what leadership on all aspects of people's life and endeavors you know stating from your personal branding even in your business your business some people they are known more than their businesses you know they they they, they, they buy some people rather than their products you know are you forced and as a leader i think there's a disconnection into you know connection between self-image you know business branding and of course leadership do you, do you want to help us unfold unlock the entire connectivity between the three concepts thank you oh, all right great so when, when it comes to leadership and personal branding it's 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 interconnected you cannot separate personal brand executive presence and leadership it's interconnected because in leadership you, you need to be able to understand how to communicate with your people Communication is part of leadership, is part of executive presence, is part of personal branding. Communication, charisma, um, the way you connect with your people. What's your level of connection with your people? Your charisma, very important. You know, your connection, your charisma, your communication, your, gra your gravitas is very important. How are you able to deliver your message as a leader in the 21st century that's why i i said the best form of leadership is demonstrative leadership so no matter how much you communicate via words you need to also communicate via action so you set up a meeting for 
for 10 a.m as a leader you get to the venue of the meeting 30 minutes before the meeting that's leadership that's personal branding that's executive presence as a leader you say okay you have to dress this way to the office you dress that way to the office that's leadership you are a leader and then you set goals for the organization you should also be part of the people implementing the goals that's leadership so leadership is about folding your sleeves and getting to work it's not about sitting down and teaching our commands it's about getting involved people that get involved tend to build a bond with your people and in turn grow their organizations because the truth is this if you separate yourself from your people you're simply telling them you are the boss nobody wants to work with the boss people want to work with leaders yes people that have empathy bosses don't have empathy leaders have have empathy I know. Mm. bosses don't managers don't Mm. The job of the manager is to get the job done. He doesn't care how you feel or what's going on with you. But a leader understands your feeling, has empathy, gets involved in the work, walks you through it, is involved in your daily uh, process. Leadership is about getting involved in everything, in the processes. Mm. That's why you have some mm. companies enlarge grow succeed more than some companies look at the leaders they're involved in the life of the people that they, that, that are working with them not for them so there are two things let your people understand that they have a stake in what they're doing and that they are working with you to achieve this goal not that they are working for you to achieve this goal very important yeah So that's it. That is, that it's is getting important. involved in their lives. <laughs> making sure they're a part yeah. of what you're doing. Making sure you're also a part of what they are doing, the processes. That's leadership. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, that. sir. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Questions, please. Any, any I'm not I'm not sure. I can only see comments from YouTube and from Facebook. I'm not sure LinkedIn. Um, I'm not sure LinkedIn is uh, here, but I'm not sure. I can't say it's not actually here. But friends, yes, that that is um, that is so true. Because again, uh, in addition to what Doctor Praise has just said, I I also understand that set image, you know, brand building, leadership, you know, whatever it is you want to call it, or whatever name you want to tag it, business growth. It affects your personal progression or outlook. It affects your, you know, business growth in various ways. For example, you know, a positive self-image can help one build a strong brand and become a, an effective leader. Just like I said, and I'm just trying to echo what what that means. You know, a strong brand can also help one attract and retain customers. You know, build partners, and of course, you know, increase one's market share of of prof prof profitability. And that's what you want to do whatever it is you do just don't do it because do it the way it has to be done you know it, it mentions something very crucial and it's visibility and of course you don't just want to be visible when you are not branding yourself because again you and, and, and it should be it should be excellently there. done it should be excellently done exactly. right you know there's there's something we've always yeah. heard over the years um <laughs> practice makes I mean, I, I want to see the, the completion of that statement. Practice makes, I need you to comment. Practice makes, Perfection. complete it for me. <laughs> complete it for me, perfection. please. Practice yeah, makes perfection. Mean, that is that is what we grew yeah. up hearing. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. But hey, I'm going to bust your bubble here right now. Practice does not make perfect. Practice makes improvement. 
improvement. Yeah. Practice does not make perfect. Practice makes improvement. If practice makes perfect, hey, watch this. The Mercedes Benz that was produced way back, like the V boots, will be perfect. But it wasn't. They upgraded it. Nokia 3310 would have been perfect if practice makes perfect. But no, it's obsolete right now. There's an improvement, right? So check it. Usain Bolt, for example. Usain Bolt always beat his record, his former records. Why? Practice does not make perfect. It makes improvement. So in your strive for perfection, what you get is excellence. As a leader, in your strive for perfection, what you get is excellence. So practice does not make perfect. We'll never make perfect, even in the next 30 years. Because there's always an upgrade. That's why you have a Toyota 2024 model, and then the next year you have a Toyota 2025 model, and then they just keep upgrading. Because if it, was, if it were perfect, they would have left it at the state where it was. Practice never makes perfect. Practice makes improvement. So you need to keep practicing and practicing and practicing. In your strive for perfection, what you get is excellence. Improvement, yes. Yes, that's that's true. Thank you so much for that. Yes, we, we, we keep doing what you have to do. Keep doing what you have to do to keep uh, improving. There's a question here, Dr. Price. I'm not sure if you can see it from Facebook. Um, and that is from Aki Allen. He says that, could you please put lights on, Advert, you know, I think advert, advertising or showcasing your product. I, I think you, you missed some part of that during your statement. What is the place of, you know, of advertisements in, in showcasing your products? Okay, so I said, I said, visibility? okay, so concerning advertising, I said, what is advertising? You advertise, um, advertising is the showcase of your product, your services, right? But when it comes to your personal branding, it is called advertising. Mm. It is called advertising. You have, you are showcasing yourself, your skills, the values you have. So personal brand is equal to advertising. Just like you advertise products and services, when it comes to personal mm. branding, you are advertising your skills, your competence, your values and then as a leader you have to also be um, you have to be confident in your competence it is very important that you are confident in your competence you know what you can do be confident in that thing that you can do so the extent that you can defend it even in your sleep mm. if you wake me up to talk about personal brand and it's presence wake me up from my sleep i'll just start talking if you want, mm. wake me up, you talk about leadership. Wake me from the sleep, I'll start talking. Mm. Be confident in your competence. What's your competence? Yeah. Build confidence around it. And be confident enough to talk about it anytime, any day. As a okay. leader. Yes, sir. I think that's a very important ingredient to uh, self-image, you know, self, you know, you know, personal branding. And that is uh, competency, you know. Uh, and of course, it gives you a kind of confidence, you know, that uh, sure that you can, you, you, you are there to serve, you are there to do what, you, are, you know, uh, is expected, you know, meeting people's needs and doing it just like you say. So, yes, we come across in terms of how we, how, 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 I like using the word outlook. What's your outlook? How do people perceive you? How do they see you? What do they know you for, you know? Uh, you cannot. And another thing I'd like you to talk on is that, you know, I've seen a lot of people who they, you know, they they appear to be, you know, in a particular. Uh, they have a particular image that you can actually, from the distance, you can you can tell. But the moment they open their mouth to talk, it's completely contrast to their outlook. <laughs> I'm not sure you understand what I'm saying. You'll be wondering. God, there's no balance in this. How do you explain that? Perfectly, I understand. I understand. That's where the, the place of studying and research comes. 
that's where the place of study and research comes because you need to be able to study like i said earlier know one thing about everything and then know everything about one thing that's that's an issue so i said let your content be rock solid as much as your container is rock solid let your content be rock solid so whatever field you're in study research get to know what's happening get to know the trends in your industry in your field and in other in other industries too because yeah. you might meet people and then you begin to talk and then you put them off just by the things you're saying why because you do not have accurate um information concerning that particular field mm. so study research know what the trends are get involved in what is happening in your industry and mm. other industries get to talk to people the expert in those fields mm. gain knowledge so that when you're talking you're talking from the place of authority mm. and from the place of um knowledge and research knowledge yeah. and then um it will acquire um acquire you more respect so that the next time people see you, they're going to attract her to you instead of repelling from coming to you. Exactly. Very important. Exactly. That's that's spot on. That's very true. I'm not sure if uh, Mr. King Allen is um, uh, got the answer to his question. Uh, if if you if that's if you've got answers to your question, can you just let us know? Yeah, or Allen. Um, I can, Allen, let, let us know if um, I answered your question about um showcasing yeah. and advertising product yeah 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 dave correctly correctly know one thing about everything and know everything about one thing very important yeah. Aki, yeah. great 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 i'm i'm, I'm glad you understood yeah, what i meant by yeah. um advertising great yeah. thank you so much that's so true yeah thank you we have a few minutes more to, to wrap this up. And before I ask Dr. Praise to give us the closing remarks or, you know, one or more tips to before closing, is there anybody who's got um, something you want to, you want to highlight from the, you know, from this? If you have anything you want to really highlight, can you just put it in the comment box, please? And then, or comment section, uh, we will be able to address that. Thank you so much for that. So, Doctor Price, um, actually, this is this is not question and answer session for me. I, you know, I, I really want you to, you know, um, the, you know, you know, digest what you normally would do. And I know that um, uh, you got a whole bunch of uh, module on this subject matter, and I know you have a, you know, almost like a curriculum developed for 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 this you know topic. But I'm not also yes. expecting you to begin to to begin to talk through all those uh, modules. But it is very important that um, people get, you know, uh, want to, so people who, I mean, a lot of listeners, a lot of people listening to us, what do you think they can then do from this moment to begin to, many people are not actually in any trade, they're not in, in any enterprise, but then that does, like you said, that does not mean they are not selling because everybody says something we are all sales people we are all sales men and women. actually so. actually <laughs> even if you are an employee yeah you're selling your skills you're selling your talent you're selling your value yeah. what gives you promotion your value yeah. your skills make, your dedication to the job you're doing yeah. so yeah so executive presence would help you build those skills build those um, things that you need for promotion. Mm. So talking about curriculum and all of that, I have a book called um, The uh, Audacious, The Act mm. of Executive Presence. All right? Mm. Audacious, The Act of Executive Presence. Um, it's in its final stage. We, we're doing a review. It was out like three years ago. And then um, just late last year, I decided to do a review on the book, add more things to it. And then it's going to be out this year. So watch out. Audacious, the art of executive presence. Very important. You need it. Um, mm. Be a CEO, chairman of a company, um, middle, middle managers, C-suit managers, all right, lower class uh, managers, employees. Everybody needs it. As mm. long as you want to play at the top. Mm. If you want to play at the top, 
Junitis. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. So uh, yes, you, we, we're gonna we're gonna be looking out for that. But before you before the final announcement, let me just also share with uh, you know listeners and participants that uh, you know with Skills Mindset, um, you know you can actually uh, follow us. I think um, there will be some links posted there. You can follow us on uh, social media, you know, uh, Cloud Plus social media platforms. We're on LinkedIn, we're on Facebook, and uh, Skills Mindset is also on um, Instagram. Um, and of course, we we have a you know podcast uh, you know uh, platform that you can join as well or subscribe to, uh, so that at least you can follow us on all the episode that has been released. And then of course, um, you, once you subscribe, you would don't have to miss any of this um, of this episode. And uh, and there's another thing coming on very soon. You know, there's going to be a book launch. Uh, excuse my said he's doing a book launch very soon as well so please um you can also register to be the first to be notified when the book is out yes thank you i think uh yeah and of course our website if you want to know more or you want to contact us you can go to our website and leave us with your message or your inquiries i'll be sure that we will get across to you as soon as we can and then of course we will be able to address all your inquiry i mean answer your questions and address all thank you very much for that dr eno i know you 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 need to catch a flight <laughs> and then, <laughs> but before but before then what are the last and you know what are the last take home uh, you know before you go let's get all that we can get from you while you can now that you are here okay um yes we can learn more we can know more what are other things we need to be looking out for what are the what are the what are the things we should look out for you have talked about the way we look the way we dress the way we appear you have looked at our services and how we con convey that to our clients and to our customers you have talked about how our skills and talent could be very relevant to our personal branding where we are relevant and of course valued even at at work or in our businesses and then how we can use our skills to lead in the area of leadership you know helping others supporting people be being a, you know a, a demonstrated leader that's that's the word that I, that I take from there today and so what exactly is it that you can summarize around those set and adaptive so that we we know what where we are all right so um my final word right yes Okay, so it's it's very simple. I three words basically. Be visible. Whatever you're doing, be visible. Be outstanding and be heard. Be visible be upstanding and be heard. Visibility is the crux of the whole thing. When you're seen, it means you are standing for them to see you. And when you are seen, you must be heard. Because they can't see you without hearing you. They cannot hear you without seeing you. So when you are outstanding, you'll be visible. That means they will see you. And when they see you, they must hear you. So whatever you do, make sure you're outstanding, you're visible, and then make sure you're heard. These three factors will move you to the next level. And hey, before you are seen, make sure your content is rock solid hmm. make sure your content is rock solid and when your content is rock solid make sure the container is also rock solid hmm. with this combination you're headed to fly hmm. those are my final words be outstanding well, be visible and be heard they are interconnected you cannot yeah. miss one and get to the last 
if you are outstanding, you'll be visible. When you're visible, you'll be heard. Be heard. Thank you very much. That's, that's, that's so true. Thank you so, so much for that. That's so true. Um, people, please, that's what it is. You've heard from the experts how important it is to be visible, regardless of what you do. Even if you are, if you are either, you know, employed, self-employed, contractor, or a business enter a professional, you know, just make sure you are visible. In other words, make sure you, you they know you for what you are. You know, that's to be visible. Go out there. Let people be, have an expression. That's what it means. Have an expression. Let people see what you are all about. And then they, they will appreciate you. They know you for who you are. And to be outstanding is also to do what you do with excellence. Do it and do it well. And to be heard, of course, it is difficult for you to be outstanding and not be heard because people want to listen to you. And to be heard does not mean you want to be talking every time. You know, I always say something when I'm talking about communication. You know, people talk, <laughs> people talk not because they have to say something, but they talk because they have something to say. Something to say, yeah. And uh, you know, when it comes to communicate, when it comes to speaking, it depends on who is speaking. Talk is cheap. Yeah. But who are you speaking to? When you talk, when people talk and then it falls on the surface. But when you speak, it gets into the deep. It gets into the spirit. It gets into the soul. Mm. Mm. So speakers are different from talkers. Yeah. So whatever you do, do it with substance. Do it with meaning. Do it with intention. And make sure you And do it excellently. Well. So excellent word. That's so true. Thank you so much for that. I'm not sure there's any other comments and then the question we have done a one hour seminar, which we promised. But of course, if you have questions, easier to go. We have about three minutes to wrap this session up. Um, we will be, this is a monthly, let me make this announcement quickly. This is a monthly masterclass from coming from the, you know, boardroom of the skills mindset, uh, you know, limited. Uh, we call it the Skills Master Masterclass. It's a monthly series event that will be live streaming. You know, we stream live on LinkedIn. You know, uh, we stream live on YouTube and on Facebook. You know, uh, please, you must have had or received emails from 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 the from the team once you have registered your interest to attend this seminar. Uh, then you know, update will be forwarded to you, uh, and then of course, like a reminder once the next uh, series is coming up. It's a monthly series, monthly event, and then uh, different speakers, different topics, various things, just to ensure that we can be improved, we can enhance our skills, and of course we can learn some things to get ourselves improved. All I want, all we want is to improve productivity and to do that efficiently. So it's not just all about output, it's also about the quality of the output. It's very important. And Dr. Eno is not going too far away from us. Anytime we need him, we bring him back. He's not going to go too far away. So <laughs> I'm always here anytime you. you need me. Yeah. <laughs> anytime. Thank you so much. And if you thank want you so one much. on one session, yeah, if you want one on one session with Dr. Praise, or uh, you want to know more, please send in, um, go to go to our website or, you know, or send us a, a, an inquiry. Be sure that this will get across to him. And of course, he will attend to everything you want him to address thank you so much and i think on this note i don't think i have another thing to say except if you have one or two things to say otherwise we well have just uh, well uh, yeah whatever yeah. you're doing like i said earlier yeah. you're outstanding be visible mm -hmm. and be heard thank you so make much. sure you do thank that you so and make sure your content yeah. is rock solid that's very yeah. important yeah that's very true. so that's very true keep doing what you're doing keep growing your brands like um dr lawa said if you want a one-on-one -on -one session with me um send an email to them and um they will set that up would we'll have uh, a one-on-one -on -one. and then we are coming up with uh uh dr. Lawa, permit me to say this we're yeah, coming up well. with what we call the the academy the executive presence academy you know executive presence academy mm -hmm. is coming up soon so it's a one is a direct one on one session in helping you build your brand. Yeah. In helping you build your brand, helping you build your executive presence and all of that. It's a direct one on one academy where it's, I mean, 
you have time to ask your questions. We also help you go through um, mentoring sessions for your business on how to build your brand, skills in it, um, the books you need to read. We help you answer the questions that would put you in shape. There is a workbook that will have you answer a lot of questions. So, you know, when you're ready for the one-on-one -on -one session, always get, yeah. get, get across to Dr. Lawal and we'll make that happen. Oh, that would be great. That would be a very great service and people can uh, leverage on that because it's always step forward will always enhance your, you know, pro product, product, productivity. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank yes, you very um, much. Thank you very much, everyone. Yes, yeah. yeah, so until next month, you know, uh, where we'll be uh, sending out notification on a different topic, different speakers, friends I want to wish you all the best. I want you to go and learn, you know, what you have to learn. Continue and pursue your goal with knowledge. Do it excellently well. But in all that you do, don't ever forget. Please be visible, be outstanding, and be heard. Thank and you. And be heard. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So see you guys on the other side of the socials. <laughs> all right. So you can follow. The world is changing, and so does change. Yes. Um, yeah. Thank you very much. Like I said, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. It's the same thing at I am an Upraise. Uh, on LinkedIn is um, His Excellency Ambassador Doctor An Upraise. Instagram is at I am an Upraise. Facebook is um, Yeah Ambassador Doctor An Upraise. Basically that. So let's meet on the other side of the socials. Thank you very much, and God Thank bless you. you. Let's see you. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time. Thank you for your time. Bye.